Hello everyone and welcome to Tipsy where we actually provide you with top tips to meet your specific need. So if you're new to this channel, consider hitting the like and subscribe button and also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and update whenever we create a new video or tutorial. So today we are actually going to be walking you through a sure strategy that you can actually use to predict home win or away win match predictions using predictzwebsite.com. So the site is actually predictz.com. Once you are on the front page of this site, the first step you actually want to take is to make sure that you actually navigate to the top menu that you can actually see here. Once as you are here and you are sure that you can see this top menu here, the next step is to locate this area that says statistics. Click on statistics directly and once you do that, you are actually going to be taken to a page that looks like this. And from this front page, you are going to see that there is an area that says best football start. And we are actually going to make use of two sections here in this category since we are dealing with either the home team or the away team to actually win. We are going to locate this area that says winning team and this area that also says losing team. So we have these two options here that we are going to concentrate or focus on so long as this strategy is concerned so as to come out with the best home win or away win match predictions. The first here will navigate to this area that says winning team and click on it directly. Once you do that, you're actually going to see that you are going to see this area that says best football start and winning teams. This is our area where we should concentrate by scrolling down and you are going to see that teams will actually be listed to you based on best winning statistics as you can see here. Now, when you see all those best winning statistics or best winning teams, what you want to do as the next step is to locate the area you can you are going to see a button where you can actually click on it as next game in other words this actually means that the next game or the recent game which is just coming ahead is just very close you can actually go and see the inside statistics and you can actually choose that match and include it in your bed slip based on the in-depth analysis which we are actually going to show you in this case you can see that this one also uh best is one of the best winning statistic team but of course we don't have this uh, this icon or this button that you can see here in this area so in other words it's still some few days ahead of time for this match to actually play but we are still going to show you how you can actually choose or see this game and also to find how or the date that this match will actually play if you don't see a link or a particular button that shows like this but first, I want to click on this next game to be navigated or open in a new tab so that we can see the inside of the match. And you, can, you are actually going to see that based on this inside, you are going to see that it's actually a Scot Scottish Cup, just the same as you saw here. It is actually in the Scot Scotland Premiership. And you are going to see that once as you click, you are going to see the definition here, like Scottish Cup, as you can see up here. Let me go back one step behind. Scottish Cup, this is it here. And you are going to see that it's a match between Celtic playing with Invents. Now, what you want to do as a next step, you are going to see this area that actually says predict tip. This is actually the tip based on the Predict Z website. And they are actually predicting that the home team is actually going to win the away team 3 is to 0. Of course, this is a very good uh this is a very good heads up because it gives you an insight and an idea that the favorite team which is a more performant team based on statistics is going to take the lead but to confirm this we also have to make our own in-depth analysis so that we are very sure that this is actually what they have actually predicted you need to screw down to an area where you are going to see something like this as a table here and this is where our most informed choice will actually be made you are going to see the match between Celtic and Invents, as you can see here. And you are going to see that based on this classification here, you are going to see that Celtic has actually had 16 wins 
one draw and they have lost no match. As compared to the opponent that has won nine games, three drawn has been recorded and they have actually lost six matches. And based on this, their league position based on the position table, you are going to see that for Celtic, they are actually in the first position of the league table as compared to the opponent in the sixth position. And they have played 33 games, 30 wins has been recorded. You can see that they have actually scored 103 goals, which is very, very great. And they have conceded 25 goals as compared to the opponent, who have actually played 36 with 15 wins. 52 goals have been scored and 47 goals conceived. In other words, the home team has more performance and the number of goals they have scored is greater as compared to the opponent. Now, we want to look at an area that actually says key statistics. We have two key statistics here for each of the team. And you are going to see that our most areas of focus is to look at the goal conceded per game as well as the goal scored per game. In this case, the goal conceded per game of this home team is 3.1. In other words, it is very, very good at scoring. So a good line of art to draw is to look at the possibility that if a team is very, very good at scoring, then it has at least an average goal score rate of at least 1.8. Once it is above 1.8 and going to 2, 2.0, then it is very good. But in this case, not only is the home team just 2.0 uh, or 2.1 or 2.2, it is up to 3.1. In other words, the capacity of them to score is very, very high. And the opponent, as you can see in this case, yet they have not mentioned here, but of course you can still calculate the rate at which they also score. By taking the number of game they have actually, the number of uh, uh, goals they have actually scored and divide by the number of matches they have played, you are going to know the rate at which they actually scored per game. In this case, we are actually going to take 52 divided by 36 to get that range. So we are actually going to use this calculator and we are going to take 52 as in this case divided by 36. So I want to do that 52 divided by 36. And you are going to see that is 1.44. In other words, comparing 1.44 with 3.1, 3.1 is very big. So the difference is really that much in a way that it is even about more than 1.8 as compared to the comparison. You can see 3.1 and 1.4. If we take 3.1, 3.1 and minus 1.4, 1.4, you are going to see that the difference is 1.7. In other words, the offensive power of the home team is 1.7 more as compared to the away team. In other words, the possibility of the home team to win here is very mighty. So going for the home team to win here is a very sure pick when it concerns the home team to actually win. Also, if you can check the rate at which the away team also concede, then you can also predict goals possibility in this kind of game. Since, as they have actually mentioned here, that based on the classification is 3.0. You can also go to a predictions where an over 1.5 goal is also a good choice when you look at games like this. And of course, when you want to do this kind of calculation, you also have to make sure that the away team is not very defensive. If the away team is very defensive, then goal possibility will be very difficult. To know this, you need to take the number of goals they have actually conceded and divide by the number of matches played. If it is above one, then it is a good possibility that the home team will have more chances of scoring. Because anything that is lesser than 1, going 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0 0.7, and lesser than 1, then they are a little bit defensive. 0 0.5 means they are very defensive. But 0 0.8 to 0 0.9, they are a little bit de defensive. But once as it is above 1, then they are not that too defensive. But we are going to conclude this by taking the number of goals they have actually conceded and divided by 36 the number of games they have played and we are going to make a general conclusion here by coming here and try to take 47 as in this case 47 divided by 36 and you can see that it is 1.3 which is good it is already above one in other words the home team has more chances of winning this game and the possibility of an over 1.5 goal is also good where you can also look at the possibility of bets like the home team to win an over 1.5 goal to actually occur in this match, which is good. So you cannot just only, you, sometimes you not only want to look at home team to win, and you can also, to make the odd to be a little bit bigger, you can say the home team to win an over 1.5 goal, 
and of course the odd will be a reasonable odd where you can go directly for that nextly you can still come again and in a case like as you can see here let's come back here for this area where i say the losing team let's go to losing team because i've said that there are two possibilities to look for home team or away team to win one of which was winning team the next is the losing team once you come to a losing team let's say as an example in this case where it is actually in the Algeria League One, you can see a next button here. If I click directly on it to open it on a new tab, you are going to see that they have actually predicted two is to zero. But if we scroll down and try to look at key statistics here, you are going to see that the performance here is mostly poor. When you see it is very red, 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 and everything is red, it means the performance of these two teams are not that very encouraging. In other words, you need to make a good choice when you concern this. And to do this, Rather than if you see that the away team has predicted here to win, instead of you to go for a straight win as an away team, then if you see everything here being red, red, as you can see here, it is not a wise decision to go for a straight win. Instead, you can look at the possibility of double chance for the away team in this case. These are cases where double chance possibility is a big possibility to occur. As you can see here, you can still confirm this based on the statistic table, as you can see here, based on the number of matches played and goal scored and goal conceded. You can see that for the home team, they have played 24 matches. They have not yet win any. This is poor. And of course, only 8 goals have been scored and up to 58 goal conceded. As compared to the opponent, which is the away team, which was predicted as it to win, they have played 24 matches, 24 matches with 10 wins. They are good. At least 10 wins is not bad. In other words, going for a double chance is good. And you can see that they have actually scored 30 goals and conceded 25. So double chance possibility is very, very good here if you want to consider the team to win. Rather than to go for a straight win, double chance is a good possibility in this kind of matches. So this is a strategy that you can actually use to predict sure win or double chance when it concerns this predictzwebsite.com by using the statistic navigation area and doing in-depth analysis. So as the, next, as the other step, which I actually say that you can actually still know Teams which this button has not yet been given, as you can see in this case. If I come back again to this area, that actually says winning team and click directly on it and try to see all those teams which are winning. You are going to see that here you, are, you don't have a button to navigate. So you can actually still keep, come directly on the match itself, as you can see in this case. As in this case, like, like here in the Serbia Superliga, if you, don't, if you can actually come here, Serbia Superliga, and try to open on a new tab, or you go directly to it and search for this match, open the in-depth, the, the analytic area, and you are going to see this particular match, and you can actually analyze from the inside. So this is how you can, you can actually do to still analyze matches where the button has not yet been shown. So this is a good strategy that you can actually use to predict home or away win match matches or double chance picks when it concerns this strategy. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and update and see you again in our next episode. Bye-bye.